and threatens to destroy human civilization, it's striking just how little information Americans are receiving about what happens there. What? 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 The nation of Hungary shares a border with Ukraine. Its leader, Viktor Orban, the nation's longest serving prime minister, has been dealing with the Russians all of his life. What the fuck is this? He grew up under Russian occupation. As a young man, he was arrested and thrown into jail by Russian-backed police for his <laughs> efforts to liberate the country. And as prime minister, he's dealt regularly with Vladimir Putin, whose nation supplies Hungary with most of its energy. Viktor Orban understands Russia and you- You're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Ukraine. So two years after we last spoke to him, we returned to Hungary to sit down with prime minister Viktor Orban and ask him what exactly is happening in Ukraine right now. I said, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Um, the view is that Ukraine is winning this war. It doesn't sound like that's true. No, it's a lie. It's not just a misunderstanding, it's a lie. It's impossible. Everybody who's in politics and understand the logic, the figures, the data, no way. Why is it impossible? That actually was pretty funny. <laughs> because that way, the Ukrainian, the poor Ukrainians die every day. Yes. Hundreds and thousands, you know. So I'm, my heart is with them. So it's, 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 uh, it's tragedy. It's tragedy for Ukraine. <laughs>